Yo, FNS Hobbies back with another video today. Today we're going to finally get into our other hobby box of Bowman Chrome U 2023. Excited for the draft that's coming up. So we saved this box for draft time. Draft is this Thursday. We already opened up one of these. This is some of the stuff that we got out of it. We got, you know, Marvin Harrison, Caleb Williams. Uh, we got a Drake May and a Bo Nix up there. These were autographs that we got. He'll end up being um, top offensive lineman off the board. And and this dude, uh, he decided to... Uh, my lighting's not very good. He decided to uh, stay in school, and he's going to come out next year. But I bet you he's going to be a top wide receiver for next year. So this is pretty exciting. So... Yeah, if you like this kind of content, new to the channel, totally appreciate your subscription. Want to say thank you to uh, one of our subs out there. It was a good friend and gave us a shout out to the channel, helped us pick up some new subs. Welcome, everyone. We appreciate that move. God is great. So shout out to you. Appreciate that. So yeah, excited for draft time, dude. I mean, uh, ooh. all right. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, excited for this because yeah. I, I know a lot about this now. Yeah, excited for the draft and all that. Um, you know, I think I think the first pick is I, I don't think the draft really starts until pick number two, right? Because Caleb Williams is going first. Like that's already a given. Yeah. So. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. So I think the draft doesn't really start until pick two. All right, I'll check out this first pack. Brian Thomas, he'll be a first-round wide receiver taken. Harvey. All right, we got a numbered Drake May card here. Ooh, and it's an Ooh. autograph. Dude. Dude. We'll take a Drake May auto. We'll take a Drake May auto. 123 or 150, is it numbered? All right, hold on. Let me sleeve this puppy up. Get it. That's good. That's good, dude. You can't complain getting a top quarterback autograph. Ends a Bowman first. And who knows, dude. This dude might end up a giant. This dude might be the Giants quarterback right here. Who knows? Who knows? I think, you know, I think there's probably going to be a lot of trades in the draft. Um, But like I said, it starts at pick two. So... You know, in, in in life, history repeats itself, right? And the way I'm looking at it is, you know, Chicago Bears first pick. You know, they're getting a they're getting a generational guy, right? And so, second pick, a lot of people have either Drake May or Jaden Daniels, right? Jared versus the first round pick. Trey Benson's a good running back. Up. Oh. Same card we got, Caleb Early Risers. Still cool though. Yeah. Um, so like if history repeats itself, you know, the commanders in the past or the Washington Redskins in the past, they took Robert Griffin the third. Or the second. Was he the third? Robert Griffin. They ended up taking him, right? Yeah, yeah, he had a good rookie season, but he was a running, you know, a mobile type quarterback and it didn't work out for them. He ended up Taking too many hits at that NFL level. And career went down the drain fast, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Jaden Daniels, dude. He's not, he, like he's one of them types of quarterbacks. Yeah, he's got tons of speed and he can run and all that. Like Lamar Jackson. Yeah, but at the same time, man, those, uh, he's like a skinny kid. And I don't, can he, the question is, is, can he take that NFL whooping? Kitchens is going to be a good uh, safety coming off the board. All right, here's another numbered card. 125 of 499. Ooh, it's another auto. A receiver. So these were two autos per box? Oh, yeah, two, two autos, four box. That's how, I guess that's how we did get those other two autos. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll take those autos, though. Yeah. Like Drake May one. You know, so is history going to repeat itself and they're going to go for another RG3 type move? 
Or are they going to go for the more pocket passer and actually go with Drake May? The commanders. The commanders. That's why I'm saying the draft doesn't really start till pick two. So, so if I was to think about it, let's say, let's say they don't want history to repeat itself. They don't want to want, and they go with the pocket passer, and the commanders take like a Drake May. Let's say, you know, how's that going to work out for the Patriots? Maybe the Patriots would want somebody like a Jaden Daniels, you know, someone who's gonna gonna change that franchise around. Cause you got to keep in mind, you know, they're they're kind of stuck in, they're kind of still thinking about the Brady days. So, getting someone, Marvin Harrison Jr., same card again. Because they lost Mac, lost Mac Jones. And Michael Penix Jr. So, like you know, if they it, going going with like a Jaden Daniels for them for the third pick, that would make them a different type of team, if you ask me. You know, the Patriots, like, a, a different type of team. All of a sudden, they're going to become a team with more of a running quarterback and might kind of get you away from that, the old school the old school Patriots and start a new era over there. It might help them get that new era. But who knows, dude? And we got cards, like, stuck together in this pack. We got some stuff in this pack. So we got Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins is going to be a high cornerback taken. Devon Edwards, Ramblin' Man. I really want, like... Xavier Worthy. Oh, Xavier Worthy almost beat the world record for it, the running. It, yep, so. he had a very fast combine time, and then Noah Whittington first. Maybe more him, the Dolphins might pick him. Who, Xavier, Xavier Worthy? I think we got this card the last box, too. We got very similar boxes here. Obviously, different autos, but... So, yeah, that's, you know, that's really what's going to be... You know, something to think about is how's the draft going to start up? I think there's going to be a lot of trades. You know, is our Giants going to trade up? Do you really want to give up all that draft capital to get? Because any quarterback, any quarterback is a gamble. Any quarterback's a gamble. You never know who you're going to, you never know how these guys are going to pan out. So do you want to give up all that draft capital for the gamble? Or do you want to, Get one of these top wide receivers who. I don't think they get a wide receiver. And then try the gamble next year in the draft. <laughs> Cooper Deshaun, he's going to be a. He should be a first round pick. I don't know. Some mock show him going into the second round, but he's a player. Braylon Allen. Now, I like this card. Braylon Allen from Wisconsin. He's a running back son. He's a guy I wouldn't mind the Giants taking. Because he's. he's Fast? No, he's not fast. He's a bruiser. He's a big. He's a bully. He's like a six foot two running back. He's a big dude. Puts his head down. I think the Giants are missing those uh, Brandon Jacobs kind of days. But Brandon Jacobs was like six foot four, two sixty. That dude's probably like six two, two twenty five or something like that, or two forty, somewhere in that area, I would guess, huh? And then the throwing and you're only like seven foot five. Yeah, he's huge. I don't know exactly. He's huge though. Brock Bowers. There's another uh top ten pick right there. Ooh, Caleb Williams. We don't got that one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. The question is, will Caleb Williams do good for the Bears or will he not have a good rookie season? I don't know. There, there's so much stuff on Caleb Williams right now. Them, be, you know, people being like, you know, oh, generational guy. Yeah, okay, and you know, probably, you know, if you line them all up, like, oh, this dude's probably better than Andrew Luck. Like, phew. I don't know about all that. We'll see about that. I, all I know is the dude's got a big mouth. I'm gonna take all he's, these. He's a trash I'm gonna, yeah, he's just. Like, like Travis Kelsey. He's just awfully confident for never playing it down in the NFL yet. But you also, you also need, you also need, you kind of need to have that confidence when you're a player, son. Yeah, yeah. But At the same time. Confident. But yeah, you haven't played it down in the NFL yet. You haven't played, you know, like like, like everyone says, uh, the the speed of the game is totally different. You know, NFL to college, way different speed of the game. We got Horton. We got this quarterback. We got Kool-Aid. This has got to be a numbered card. Ooh. 11 of 25. 
That's for some quarterback out of uh, Arizona State. I don't recognize this guy. It says he's only a sophomore, so this guy might be like a future. Maybe like a next year quarterback or something like that. Just keep in mind, you, you are going to see underclassmen and stuff in here. Bucky Irving, and then yeah, we got this. Uh, I, don't, I forget what these cards are called. These are cool looking cards, though. Kool Aid. He'll probably be a a pretty high pick uh, cornerback. First round, maybe. Second round for sure. I'm pretty excited though that we got a Drake May card, dude. Drake May Auto. Okay. It'll be a top. It'll be a top pick. All right. Hunter. Henderson. What are you laughing about over there? <laughs> Nothing. Who did we miss on the last box that we were looking for? Oh, like Deion, Deion Sanders, uh, his son. I don't think we pulled any of his cards in that last box. These bo this, I, I should have probably gotten even more of these bo more of these hobbies. These are these are fun. I like opening this stuff. I just like draft time. I like all the prospects coming out and this is a good class jordan travis he's coming out this year he's probably looking to be in later rounds but he could be someone who could turn out to be someone all right we got a smith it should be numbered now just a purple all right at least get a sleeve on this bad boy all right. Still got a bunch of packs left here, son. We already got the two autos, though. It's fine. Well, we got some cool cards already, if you ask me. Yeah. We're, we're doing good. Yeah. Even if we didn't even get anything else, it's still good. Yeah, we got... Uh, there's still stuff to come here, though. Yeah. Tyler Newbin, he should be uh, one of the top safeties uh, coming out of the draft. Giants could use a safety. I think they got other needs, though. Yeah, yeah so the Giants... That's the thing, man. This this is a good draft. There's a lot of good players coming out of this draft, it seems like to me. And I follow the draft every year. And it seems like just a ton of good players this year. So that's why it's going to hurt if the Giants do trade up for one of these quarterbacks. You know, to give up that extra draft capital. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. So, don't the Giants get another pick, though? Because of the, didn't they? Well, no, not, not didn't they make a trade last year? Yeah, but I think I think they traded that pick already, son. That's what the they had an extra second rounder, but they used it to trade for uh, Brian Burns. So like draft capital is important this year to, to if you ask me to to lose out on some of these players that are coming out. So it would be a shame if you use some of this draft capital in a good draft. And then, uh, you know, the, and then you go for a quarterback and the dude ends up not being a player that works out. And some of these wide receivers in the top half of the draft. Oof. Gener generational type guy, son. All right, we got a ramble, man. And we got a Sanders, big tight end coming out. It's kind of funny we got this card now, too. So, this is another guy that the Giants could end up going for, too. I think they need a, a bruiser-type running back. Is and if you want a bruiser-type running back, it's going to be between one of these two fellas. Is that one faster, probably? Uh, who's faster? I Honestly, I'm not sure, son, to Did be honest with you. Did they go to the combine? Um, yeah, I think so. I don't remember what their, um, I don't remember what their 40s were. But, but let me tell you something, too, about the Combine, son. It, it gives you an idea of, you know, what, the, but that's like running track. That's like running track. Your game speed is what really matters. So, for example, you know, they want, oh, this wide receiver is super fast. He runs a 4.3, he, or, you know, that. Xavier Worthy, what was his, a 4.22 or something like that? So, yeah, that sounds blazing fast, but you know what? 
best wide receiver in history, Jerry Rice. I think at his pro day, he ran like a 4.52 or something like that. Which, if a, if a wide receiver ran it nowadays, they would be like, oh, he's slow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Was that fast back then? No, like fast would have been like another 4.3 time. And like I said, Jerry Rice ran like a 4.52, I think it was, if I remember right. But game speed, dude was super fast. Terry Kill's good, and he's trying really fast. Yeah, I don't, yeah, he's super, super fast, but I don't know, I don't remember what his, uh, I don't really remember what his 40 time was, to be honest with you. Jalen Wright, he'll be he'll be a top running back coming out. I think it was in the 20s, though. Say what? I think it was in the 20s. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 40. Right. I think it was like 4 point. I Got a bleak? No, no. Got Ooh, got a Joel Walton here. We do? We got a Shaz, yeah, right here. A blue Joel Walton. And a Blake Horn. He'll be a. Ooh, the Joe Alt's numbered. Michigan, 140, 199, Joe Alt. So, Michigan, Joe Alt's going to be like top off, probably the top off offensive lineman off the board. Michigan won, won the championship, right? Yes, Michigan won. Who was their start? Let's, let's, let's quiz you, son. Who was Michigan's starting quarterback? Um, Jimmy McCarthy. Yeah, correct. But they were a, mostly a running team. Yeah, you told me that and who was the running back? I don't know. <laughs> we just we just looked at him, son. This young fellow right here, Blake Corn from Michigan. That was, that that was their workhorse right there. All right, next pack. Oh yeah, this stuff's fun. This stuff's fun to open. I like this stuff. Who's the best starting quarterback? Who? Who's the best starting quarterback? Caleb Williams. <laughs> well, it's going to be Caleb Williams. <laughs> Campbell. Chicken there. Oh, here we go, dude. Shadooter Sanders. This is Dion's son. So that's cool. And then we also got a, 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 Drake, a Drake May base. <clears throat> it's Dion Sanders. Um... Yeah, it's his son. He'll be probably... Uh, I would think a top quarterback to be selected next year. Hopefully, if he has another good season. How old, how old is Deion Sanders? Old now, son. Old now. He was drafted in... Uh... Let me think about this now. I think I think Deion Sanders was drafted in 89, 1989. Jeez. So, you could do the math there. I think he was drafted in... He was probably... I think he was, like he, he, was pro he was probably... I don't know if he's that old, but yeah, he's, he's probably older now. <laughs> I think he's 68. I don't know if he's that old. He, he was... Well, he'd be like 20 probably when he got 21, Yeah, probably. probably like yeah, man. Uh, yeah, he's probably... Yeah, I guess he's... I don't know. <laughs> if it's like 20 plus 20. Caleb Downs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's JJ McCarthy right here, dude. Jim Here's a JJ right here. Is this like a silver too? I don't know. It's got, it seems like it's got more shine to it than these other cards. This might be a silver. A silver Is JJ. JJ McCarthy fast? Is he a fast runner? I don't think so. So why, why do they do so much running? Did the quarterback? No, the running backs ran. He hands the ball off, son. The quarter, the running backs did. He didn't throw a lot. That's a lot a basketball player for the guys. JJ McCarthy. Here's a purple Kool Aid. Ooh, it's numbered. Three eighty to three ninety nine. That's nice. Pretty cool. Hope I didn't look over any other numbered cards in here. I'm kind of getting down to the bottom now. Yeah, I got like three, three or four packs left. You see five in there? Mm -hmm. One, two, oh, no, four. three. 
Oh. I thought there was two and one. And then three on, yeah. All right. Um, Four packs to go. Appreciate you stuck around for the whole video. We got four packs to go here. And it's been a little bit of a longer video, kind of taking our time enjoying this a little bit. Dallas Turner. It'll be a big guy coming off the board. A Carson Beck. He might be like a top or a top quarterback coming out next year. Here's another Trey Benson. This looks like a silver. I wouldn't be. I'd, I'd be happy if the Giants ended up with him in like the third round or something like that. But will the Giants even have that pick? Who knows? Because, like I said, we have we got to trade up for a quarterback. It's probably going to be a King's ransom. It's probably going to be a King's ransom. Probably going to have to give up a lot. But. We're going to find out on Thursday, son. Pretty what exciting. If, what if the Bears don't pick Caleb Williams? Dude, they're picking Caleb Williams. It's almost like a guarantee, I think. Or they might be like, oh, I think everybody's going to pick Caleb Williams. Let's not pick Caleb Williams. No, they're picking Caleb Williams. I mean, they traded away Justin Fields. They're picking Caleb Williams. <laughs> they're picking Caleb Williams, <laughs> And honestly, more than likely, like I said, history's probably going to repeat itself, and Jaden Downs is probably going to go number two. It, it, it's going to be like, the Bears pick in the 2024 draft, Caleb Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, like, the commanders will end up going with Jaden Daniels, too, because it just makes... You know, any of these players are just drafted. So. Sanders. It just, it, just yeah. make, it just makes sense, because they also picked up the commanders, Marcus Mariota, as their backup quarterback, and he's like a similar kind of style of play to Jane Daniels, kind of. Um, and they're paying they're paying Marcus Mariota way too much money. He's getting like six million to be a backup for them. To where there's other pretty solid quarterbacks. Hey, the Caleb Williams around the back right here, son. There's other right in the last pack. So this is a good way to end it out. Hilton Jr. Hunter. That was your favorite part, son? <laughs> <laughs> and Caleb Williams ends it off. First pick of the draft. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> so, yeah, this stuff was fun, son. I enjoyed I Once again, I enjoyed the last time we opened it. I enjoyed it again. <laughs> Drake May. So, appreciate if you watched the whole video. Hope to catch you on the next video. Later!